2018 Audi Q8 SUV review. The good points of Audi Q8 SUV. Smooth, punchy engines. Excellent comfort levels. Lots of ordinary kit. Superb cabin. Lots of real legroom. The bad points of Audi Q8 SUV. Pricier compared to Q7. Looks won't be for anyone. Only one engine to be had from a launch. Options are going to be expensive. Designed as being the flagship model within the Audi SUV range, the Q8 employs coupe styling traits plus an all-round sportier image on the Q7 which it is based. Wind back 15 years in such a body style will be largely uncommon, but BMW's X6 and, latterly, the Mercedes-Benz GLE coupe popped in now popular niche to mainstream car buyers. Along for some other rivals, for example the Range Rover Sport and Maserati Levante, Coupe SUV crossovers have already been tempting buyers from equivalent coupes and saloons for several years and Audi is aware of this. Hence why it's thrown everything they have at the Q8, even passing it on the brand new cabin kind of the A6, A7 and A8, an element that is yet to debut around the Q7. Is Audi's new kid around the block a worthy contender? Review, Audi Q8, just like a Q7, but lower and wider. Designed to mix SUV practicality and presence together with the sporty lines of any coupe, the Q8 carries a shorter, more aggressive front than its Q7 sibling, also displaying a chamfered off rear roofline to present a more sweeping profile. Other notable design elements are the frameless doors, Octagonal design radiator grille the revolutionary face of Audi Q models and, in a nod to your original Audi Quattro performance car, blisters on the rear wheel arches. Audi Q8, high spec, high touch interior. Showcasing Audi's updated design, also seen inside the A6, A7 and A8, the cabin is dominated by two central control touch screens along with the now commonplace virtual cockpit dashboard. Of the two primary screens, top of the display analyzes at 10.1 inches and allows control over the car's media, satnav and Audi Connect systems and various general settings. The lower, 8.6 inch monitor, meanwhile houses menus for the climate control, heated seats and also other driver assistance features range from the optional trailer assist the place that the car automatically reverses into a space having a trailer attached and parking sensors cameras. Watch, Audi Q7 for review. Overall, it's a beautifully appointed cabin set with expensive feeling, well screwed together materials and cozy, supportive leather seats. The view out is comparable to a slightly lower Q7 or a rather higher A8, whichever way you perceive it, yet you will always get the commanding SUV driving position loved by many buyers. One engine from launch, more that you follow. Customers will only be competent to spec one engine from launch, a 286 horsepower 3.0 litre TDI badge the 55 TDI under Audi's new naming structure. Producing a hefty 600 newton meters of torque and able to accelerating from 062 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds, it's a punchy power plant more than competent at hauling the Q8's sizable 2.1 ton curb weight around. Other engines set for launch for the start of 2019 add a 340 horsepower petrol named the 55 TFSI plus a less powerful 3.0 litre diesel 45 TDI. We've driven MAS and can confirm it's more refined compared to diesel, yet can't quite match it for effortless mid-range acceleration. A 600 horsepower plus RSQ8 version can be rumored to be within the way in the course of 2019. Also, a hybrid version, similar on the Q7 e-tron, is thought being in development, yet there's been no confirmation yet of when it will probably be launched. Responsive handling and excellent all-round comfort. Right in the off, it's clear that this Q8 is really a sportier variant from the Q7. It shares being able to cover major distances effortlessly, and due to standard fit air suspension refers to all however the worst road surfaces. The fact that it can so while displaying noticeably more agility in side corners can be an impressive feat. Featuring sharper, 
more direct steering, the Q8 feels keen to vary directions and employ its standard fit quite through our wheel drive to power away from corners. It's an efficient machine, even when it's still far through the last word in driver enjoyment. Lots of ordinary equipment across two trim levels. Available in base S-line and top-end Vorsprung specs, the Q8 comes which has a strong selection of normal equipment whatever variant you opt for. Indeed, all models take advantage of air suspension, cruise control, virtual cockpit, leather upholstery and mild hybrid technology assisting to reduce fuel consumption and emissions. Upgrade to Vorsprung trim, however, plus the toy box expands with goodies for instance a head-up display, automatic parking, adaptive cruise control as well as a bang and all offs and premium head unit all included inside price. Oodles of safety kit, plus decent practicality. Offered either for an option or as standard about the Q8 can be a high collection of 39 driver assist systems. From Audi's presence with autonomous emergency braking for the front camera enabling traffic sign recognition. The Q8's gadgets are meant to provide a safer, more relaxing all-round drive due to the occupants. Said occupants are tied to 5, unlike inside 7 seat Q7, but practicality is competitive while using Q8's rivals. Those within the back will see reasonable headroom although those over 6 foot can experience the pinch and excellent legroom, plus fort zone climate control along with the option of heated outer rear seats. Boot space, meanwhile, is 605 litres together with the rear seats constantly in place and 1755 with these folded down. Again, that is less than what's available inside Q7, but like rivals from BMW, Audi and Range Rover. One engine to be had from launch, a 3.0 litre diesel. More diesels and petrol motors around the way. All engines of mild hybrid technology is standard. From launch, the Audi Q8 is available which is a 286 horsepower 3.0 litre diesel engine named the 50 TDI. A smaller 231 horsepower diesel and 45 TDI and also a 3.0 litre TFSI petrol engine 55 TFSI is going to be available from early 2019. Each engine includes Audi's mild hybrid technology MEV using a 48-volt subsystem to recuperate energy if the vehicle is decelerating. It allows the Q8 to coast while using engine off between speeds of 34 and 99 miles per hour, saving fuel as it can do so. Audi Q8 Diesel Engines The Q8's 50 TDI diesel engine is shared with models inside the Audi range, like the A6, A7 and A8. Producing 286 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque, it's effective at accelerating from 062 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds and onto a highly regarded speed of 144 miles per hour. It's important to note that about the international launch in the Q8, the auto was driven at high altitude in which the engine's performance is bound thanks to lower atmospheric pressure. Nevertheless, the 3.0-litre diesel still felt smooth and punchy, rapidly altitude and also the Q8's hefty 2.1-ton curb weight. The 600 Newton meters of torque resulted in overtaking could possibly be carried out in brisk and safe manner, with little drama on the engine. Like virtually all large diesel engines, the Q850 TDI does its best work inside the mid-range. There's still an affordable amount of pulling power up until some hundred rpm prior to a red line, yet making the engine above 4000 revolutions per minute feels unnecessary. Audi Q8 Petrol Engines The most robust confirmed engine for that Q8 will be the 55 TFSI, developing 340 horsepower as well as an asset and confirmed amount of torque. Acceleration and top speed figures may also be released closer on the engine's introduction to the UK market. Quiet at low revs, yet sporty sounding under load, the 55 TFSI delivers greater refinement as opposed to 50 TDI, yet understandably doesn't quite contain the mid-range pull of their diesel counterpart. As a result, 
The 50 TDI can inspire greater confidence when overtaking and it has a power delivery better suited to your Q8's luxurious character. Audi Q8 Gearboxes The 50 TDI is mated through an 8-speed Tiptronic gearbox. It's smooth and decisive, yet also responds well to the manual override utilizing the gear stick or tire paddles. Meanwhile, the 55 TFSI having a 7-speed dual clutch S-tronic gearbox that feels sharper plus much more responsive, yet doesn't quite develop the silky smooth laid-back character from the Tiptronic. Audi Q8 Drive Select Programmed which has a number of preset drive modes along with a customizable individual setting, the q 8 Drive Select function allows the person to tailor vehicle characteristics for example gearbox engine and suspension settings. It's a helpful feature that can assist set the auto up for several types of driving, yet, disappointingly, users cannot separate gearbox and throttle response individually, something some drivers might discover useful. Lower on the ground and even more agile versus the Q7. All cars have air suspension as standard. Quattro all-wheel drive provides superb traction. The Q8 is billed as being a sporty SUV, built to cut through bends with greater agility than its Q7 sibling. Such intentions are clear on the outset, while using Q8's steering feeling noticeably sharper than many rivals, requiring little lock to point out the nose with the car either in direction. Audi Q8 Quattro all-wheel drive. Traction is predictably excellent thanks for the standard fit Quattro all-wheel drive system that shuffles capacity to whichever axle has got the most grip. It increases the Q8 to planted, and sure-footed feel, specifically in slippery road conditions, that provides the driver huge confidence inside the car's ability. Audi Q8 all-wheel steering. Low speed maneuverability and high speed handling can also be aided by the all-wheel steering. This functions by swiveling the back wheels inside the opposite direction to your front at low speed thus reducing your vehicle's overall turning circle as well as the same direction at very fast keeping the rear in the car stable. The end result is really a car that feels surprisingly maneuverable out partying, given its hefty dimensions, yet easily competent at swallowing long motorway cruises. Aware that some drivers might discover the system requires a little becoming accustomed to, especially at low speeds, the spot that the vehicle's turning radius is smaller than expected. Audi Q8 Adaptive Air Suspension Fitted as standard about the Q8, adaptive air suspension can adjust the car's ride height by nearly 90mm while using the drive select function. Placing the car in its lowest setting reducing body roll a place that the vehicle's body leans away from a corner and provides the Q8 a sportier feel, while switching it on the highest allows greater off-road capability. Audi Q8 Off-Road Like many cars with this type, the Q8 is not likely venture further off-road than the usual gravelly track. Despite this, all cars feature hill descent control, automatically maintaining the car's speed nearly 18 miles per hour on descents in excess of 6%. Rest assured, for 99% of UK buyers, the Q8 will have greater than enough off-road ability for needs. Audi Q8 Towing Official towing weights have yet been released, even so the Q8 can be acquired with trailer assist software that automatically reverses the auto and trailer to a chosen spot with minimal input on the driver. Superb cabin dominated by higher touch screens. Driving position slightly lower versus the Q7. Reasonable all-round visibility. Despite the Q8 sharing its underpinnings while using Q7, its interior are going to be far more familiar to all those who have sat in Audi A6, A7 or A8, these all share precisely the same style of cabin. Not that this is really a bad thing, with Q8's cabin easily among, or else the, most impressive in their class. Superb interior quality. Every material feels carefully chosen and nicely trimmed using a real sense of fish and luxury permeating over the soft leathers and unpolished woods. The Q7 has an excellent cabin, nevertheless the Q8 is usually a cut above. Sitting in the unmistakably raised up but quite as high as being a Q7 driving position, 
The trucker gets a superb view outside of the front and shouldn't have got problem getting comfortable because of standard fit electrically adjustable seats. Three large displays dominate the cabin. Casting their eyes lower, meanwhile, reveals a cabin dominated by a few primary displays. These range on a virtual cockpit display that replaces traditional dashboard dials, towards the dual central screens. The lower of which is surely an 8.6 inch touch screen display that allows the trucker to control climate control and driver assist functions, as you move the 10.1 inch upper screen controls sat nav, media, telephone and settings. Both touch screens assistance to create one from the best infotainment systems around, yet this reviewer can't help but believe many customers will miss the rotary dial controller method available on older Audis. Regardless of how slick the touch screen is, it usually feels harder heading to exactly the right icon for the move than it truly is to twiddle an actual dial between options. Reasonable all-round visibility. The driver includes a good view away from the front, due to a large windscreen and respectably sized a pillars, yet the trunk pillar is pretty chunky. Still, with front and back parking sensors, as well as a rear camera as standard, maneuvering the Q8 into tight spots ought to be reasonably painless. Air suspension as standard. Excellent all-round rife comfort and refinement. Supportive leather seats. Unlike the Q7, the Q8 has come about as standard with adaptive air suspension, controlled via the auto's drive select system. The upshot is always that, even on massive 22-inch wheels, the Q8 rides smoothly over nearly the most pockmarked surfaces. It can be somewhat slow to react over larger potholes setting up a noticeable, nevertheless the cabin is well isolated nonetheless. Refinement is great regardless of engine. You'll hear significant road noise in the large wheels in case a Q8 ever drives past you, but relax knowing the degree of sound deadening means the cabin is usually a tranquil place being at motorway speeds. Noise through the petrol engine is predictably less compared to the diesel, however, not by as much as you'd expect. The 286 horsepower 3.0 liter diesel was in one of the campaigner's most refined guises from the Q8. Wind noise is just about eradicated, yet there is usually a squeak from your door mirrors at 65 miles per hour and above, a trait shared while using a 8. Other trinkets to boost passenger comfort include heated and ventilated electrically adjustable front seats plus heated rear seats on Vosprung models, ambient lighting plus a panoramic glass sunroof also on Vosprung models. Comfortable and supportive leather seats. S-Line spec models get Napa leather sports seats and Alcantara upholstery as standard, while Vorsprung versions upgrade to Super Sports seats in Valcona leather. Both are exceptionally comfortable on long journeys and supportive in tight bends. Two trim levels being offered, S-Line and Vorsprung. Both are well kitted out. Lots of potentially life-saving safety tech. The Q8 comes having a choice of two trims. Intra-level S-Line and top-spec Vorsprung. You're unlikely to feel short-changed together with the regular S-Line car, although, if you possibly could stretch for it, Vorsprung has some seriously fancy bits of normal kit. Standard Audi Q8 SUV equipment, S-Line. 21-inch alloy wheels, adaptive air suspension, brushed aluminium inlays, privacy glass, an energy-operated tailgate and matrix LED headlights. Electrically adjustable heated sports seats with Napa leather and Alcantara upholstery. Driver's side features memory function. Audi virtual cockpit, plus 10.1 inch and 8.6 inch central infotainment screens and MMI navigation plus including Audi Connect. Parking system plus with front and back sensors along with a reversing camera, phone box, pre-sense city and keyless ignition. Cruise control. Audi Drive Select, and 48 volt mild hybrid technology. Standard Audi Q8 SUV equipment, Vorsprung besides S-Line. 22 inch alloy wheels, a panoramic glass sunroof, black styling pack, power door closure and dynamic hull wheel steering. Super sports seats in Valcona leather, extended leather with Alcantara headlining, flat bottom leader, 
extended LED interior light pack and keyless entry. Tour pack, side assist, head up display, heated rear outer seats, rear bench seat plus, plus a bank and Olufsen premium sound system. Audi Q8 SUV optional accessories. The Q8's exact pricing and options list has yet to get confirmed, yet we all do know option packages should include. Comfort and sound pack. Bang and Olufsen premium sound. Extended LED interior light pack. Keyless entry. 360 degree cameras. City assist pack. Audi side assist. Presence rear. Cross traffic assist front. Exit warning. Driver assistance tour pack. Adaptive cruise control including traffic jam assist. Predictive efficiency assist. Lane departure warning with emergency assist. Traffic sign recognition. Audi Presence Basic. No Euron Cap crash test score by yet. Likely to get close to its Q7 sibling. 39 driver assistance systems to aid the motive force. Euron Cap is yet to crash test a Q8, but be confident it should perform very well inside the event of any sort of accident, if a person happens by any means. See? The Q8 incorporates a total of 39 driver assistance systems made to stop the vehicle from leaving the street and protect the automobile's occupants. As well since the usual suite of technology for example autonomous emergency braking and lane departure warning, the Q8 even offers inside tour package adaptive cruise control that detects lane markings, roadside structures, vehicles in adjacent lanes and vehicles driving ahead. Efficiency assist also included within the tour package automatically adjusts towards the current speed limit and decreases the vehicle's speed before corners, helping the motive force and reducing fuel consumption. Meanwhile, emergency assist may potentially be a lifesaver. It detects whether the driving force is inactive and visual, acoustic and haptic warnings in that case. If this does not hold the desired effect along with the driver is deemed not to become in control over the vehicle, the car take management of the Q8 and automatically brings the automobile to a halt in their own lane. A strict five-seater. Excellent legroom inside rear, headroom is decent. Boot is smaller compared to Q7s but competitive with rivals. Passenger space inside the Q8 is mainly excellent. Up front. There's ample room for just two occupants as well as their belongings because of a good SP watch of space for storing. Door pockets are commodious enough for the average water bottle, as the glove box and center console can be a decent size. In the trunk, you'll find excellent legroom ideal for even the tallest of passengers. Headroom, meanwhile is great, especially thinking about the sloping roof line. But those over six foot or that is a particularly lanky torso might discover the top of their head sits rather close for the roof lining. Heated outer rear seats, fort zone climate control and rear seat power sockets can be found. Make no mistake, the Q8 may be shorter than its Q7 sibling but that doesn't mean it's compact. Far from it, actually. Blind spots are reasonable to a car of the size but you'd still battle to park it without while using suite of parking assistance systems. Front and rear parking sensors as well as a rear camera are standard, while automatic parking is available just as one option. All help immensely when TH watching the Q8 to a tight space, even though the camera quality is really clear and one from the best positioned on mainstream cars. Pop open the Q8's automatic tailgate and you're presented that as a flat well-shaped load bay. There's a smaller lip in the boot entry on the boot floor, but nothing too severe. Predictably, it's less capacious over a Q7 in 5-seat mode 705 litres of luggage space, but there's still lots of space for a families in luggage. Handy cubby holes with netting provide additional storage for smaller items, while, thanks towards the Q8's standard fit air suspension, the rear from the car is usually lower to create loading heavy items easier. The rear seats is usually folded in the 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split, developing a vast 1755 litres of luggage space.
both the spine seats up and rear seats down boot capacity figures are competitive with rivals such because BMW X6, Mercedes-Benz GLE and Range Rover Sport.